But it's just as important to focus on that soft stuff because you're dealing with people, people and organizations. And it ends up being important in terms of how you think about uh, getting your job done. So I try to think about what are some things that you might find uh, useful or helpful as you start thinking about how do you become leaders as you uh, continue to progress in your career. So I've got three pages of ideas or things for you to think about. Uh, making sure you have the right people. Amazing how important this is. And it's amazing to me how often MBA students can't do that. They just can't tell someone, you're not doing a great job, you got to go. Or, gee, sales are down 20%, I got to cut people by 10%. They just can't do it. So it's just something I'd always keep in mind is you got to be able to do those tough things, including making sure you have the right people. Trying to get buy-in. Uh, it's really important to get the facts and opinions from everybody and really think through uh, how do I arrive at the best decision. But another failure mode that I see leaders enter into is a feeling like they got to get everybody to agree, or at least a majority of people to agree. As a leader, your job is to get all the facts, all the opinions, make a decision. And you do run into times, and I think back to the recession in 2009, there were times where I had to make decisions that nobody liked, including my staff. But it's one of the things you have, to be able to, you have to be able to do. Get the facts and opinions, but be prepared to make a decision. I uh, was talking with Nelson about this next one uh, a little bit. Being right at the end of the meeting instead of at the beginning of the meeting. Now, sounds kind of simplistic, but it's really true. And it's really tough early on in your career because the way you start off is generally you're an individual contributor. It's your job to analyze something come up with a potential solution, advocate for that solution, and in the event it gets accepted, it's a big win for you. You've, you've done well. You'll progress in your career. Well, the problem is the higher up you go, the less you know. There's just too much going on. You can't know everything. And what you find is this kind of normal human dynamic that especially if you're new in a job as a leader, uh, if you propose something, a third of people will be absolutely with you just because they want to. A third of people will be against it because it's you. And a third of people just want a decision, they'll do whatever you want. Well, if you look at your job as a leader, which is to make good decisions, that's what you will get measured on, you need to think about it a little differently. You need to start thinking about how do I draw out all the facts and the opinions from everybody, not just the people who want to participate, but everybody. So as you start thinking about it that way, it causes you to act differently. The first thing, don't let people know what you're thinking. If you're going into the meeting and they already know what your position is, it's going to be really hard to get their opinions. Uh, another one, when you're in the discussion, if somebody says something that you disagree with because you don't think it's right, don't say anything. In fact, sometimes advocate that point of view. Even tougher is when somebody says something that you do agree with. It's really tough to not jump in and say, by golly, I think she's right. I think that might be it. Instead, encourage the discussion. And this ends up being really important if you're trying to make a good decision. And it's sometimes a little difficult when somebody walks out and they're all thinking, well, it was so-and-so's idea. It may have been what you wanted to do from the beginning. You have to just stay away from that. Because what you want to do is just make a great decision.